Welcome to the last video of the unit derived lipids. See, in this video, we are going to see what are derived lipids and what are the examples. Derived lipids. are the products of hydrolysis of simple lipids and compound lipids so derived lipids are formed from the simple lipids and compound lipids by hydrolysis the most important examples for the derived lipids are the prostaglandins and the steroids this comes to the steroids so it's a family of saturated and polycyclic hydrocarbons made up of four fused cyclic ring of 17 carbon atoms so this is a four fused cyclic rings named as A, B, C and D. So there are 17 carbon atoms here. So from 1 to 17 carbon atoms are there. And A, B and C are hexagonal in shape and hence they are called cyclohexane rings. A, B and C are called what? Cyclohexane rings and the ring D is called the pentagon called a cyclopendate and steroid contain two methyl groups namely C18 that is a C18 and C19 at the position number carbon 13 and 10 so there are two in addition to the above characters there are two methyl group so they are named as C18 and C19 on which position on carbon number 13 and carbon number 10 and the steroid may contain a side chain a side chain this is a side chain at carbon number carbon number 70 so there is a side chain at position 17 so there are, there are some additional features like hydrogen bond in, in between the fifth and sixth carbon atoms and OH group at the position third if the steroid having contain if the steroids contain one or more OH groups then it is called steroids or simply called steroid alcohol so what is a steroid alcohol the structure steroid having one or more OH group is called steroid alcohol or simply called steroids it does not contain any fatty acid and glycerol and it cannot be saponifiable there is no fatty acid and glycerol so derived lipid does not contain any fatty acid and glycerol so why it is regarded as a lipids because they are simply insoluble in water and soluble in organic solvent that's why it's considered under or regarded as a lipids now let's take the examples for steroid one of the very important examples under steroid is is cholesterol so it's a derived lipid of course it means a solid bile alcohol you know the bile what is secreted from bile is secreted from the gallbladder and it's first isolated from so this is the liver and this is the gallbladder potassium first isolated from the human gallstone cholesterol found only in animal fats not in any plant fats plant oil does not contain the coconut oil or any plant oil does not contain any cholesterol so it's good for the human body plant oils are good for the human body especially the coconut oil as does not contain any cholesterol the plant sterols are called what phytosterols the animal sterol of animal origin are called zoosterols. Sterol of animal origin are called zoosterol, and the plant origin are called phytosterol. Ergosterol is is the yeast sterol. Ergosterol is a yeast sterol. Where it is found? It is found in brain, nervous tissue, skin, liver, etc. So as you already see the picture of a steroid, the same picture, the same structure is also cholesterol has the same structure as we have discussed 
the steroid structure the cholesterol has the same structure also because cholesterol is a derived lipid the molecular formula of cholesterol is C27 H45 OH it contains four ring structure A, B, C and D A, B, C are called hexagon cyclohexane rings D is the cyclopentane rings and should, in addition to this there is a methyl group at carbon number 13 and 10 named as 18 methyl uh, in addition to this there is a methyl group is known as C18 and C19 or carbon number 13 and 10 respectively and there is a additional side group at carbon number 17 Is it? Now what are the functions of cholesterol? Is it part of the cell membrane? Has an effect on the fluid state of the membrane. You heard about the fluid mosaic model. Bile salt and acids are derived from cholesterol. Are they are important for the fat absorption? You heard about emulsification of fats. Emulsification of fats means what? Breaking down of complex fat molecules into simpler fat molecule for the easy digestion so bile salts and acid bile acid helps in fat absorption glucocorticoids androgen and estrogen these are the hormone derived from cholesterol one of the examples for the androgen is testosterone is a male sex hormone and estrogen is a female sex hormone both are derived from the cholesterol so cholesterol is an important part of the human system so vitamin d3 is derived from 7 hydro cholesterol now conduction has an insulating effect on the nerve fibers so cholesterol has a important role in the nerve conduction also so these are the main functions of cholesterol let's, let's move on to the second one is called the prostaglandin it's another type of derived lipids second ex example for the derived lipid is prostaglandin shortly known as pgs it's a family of 20 carbon atoms there are 20 carbon atoms altogether a long chain organic carbo carboxylic acid with a cyclopentane ring so this is a cyclopentane ring with a long chain organic carboxylic acid long chain this is a acid long chain carboxylic acid it's a derivative of an essential fatty acid called prostanoic acid so this prostaglandin are derived from an essential fatty acid called prostanoic acid prostanoic prostanoic acid which actually synthesized from arachidonic acid Arachidonic acid is an unsaturated fatty acid found in liver and glandular organs. So what are the other characters? So it's, it has a cyclopentane ring and long chain organic carboxylic acid. So this is a ring with a 7 carbon chain. So this is a 7 carbon chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 carbon chain. And there is an additional 8 carbon chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. On the lower part, there is an 8 carbon chain, and upper part, there is a 7 carbon chains are also there. So, this 8 plus 7 is 15. Here is a 5 carbon. So, total, how many? 20 carbon. 5 carbon here, 7 carbon here, 8 carbon here, 8, 8 plus 7 plus 5 is equal to 20. So 20 carbon chains are there. This is the, so this is a structure of word prostaglandin. And where it is first extracted? The prostaglandin are extracted from the seminal plasma. What is the seminal plasma? It's a secretion of prostate gland. And where you see in the prostate gland? Prostate glands is part of the human reproductive system or the male reproductive system prostate gland so this is a testis you can see the scrotum testis is the epididymis is there is the urinary bladder it comes back is the seminal vesicles 
which passes through a central gland, large gland called the prostate gland. So the prostate gland secretes seminal a viscous fluid, which is the main ingredients of the semen. So this is the prostate gland. So the first it extracted from the prostate gland. Hence it is called a prostate gland in inside the prostate gland. Hence it is called a prostate gland in. So later it is known to be exist in all almost all mammalian tissue. It is present in almost all mammalian tissues. It's also known as a local hormone. Prostaglandin is also known as a local hormones. And how prostaglandins are produced? It's produced from an unsaturated fatty acid found in liver and glandular organs is called arachidonic acid. Unsaturated fatty acid means first containing double bond. So the prostaglandin synthetase an enzyme which convert the arachidonic acid into prostaglandins. There are two varieties of prostaglandin, PGF and PGE. Prostaglandin F and prostaglandin E. So each one with the three sub subseries, prostaglandin F1, F2, F3, and prostaglandin E1, E2, and E3. Prostaglandin has a important clinical applications because when any injury happens, it releases a chemical called a prostaglandin which stimulate the nerve ending and which cause the pain. So, acetyl salicyclic acid or the aspirin is a potent inhibitor of the enzyme prostaglandin synthetase, so which inhibit the synthesis of prostaglandin from arachidonic acid. So, the prostaglandin synthetase is inhibited by what? Aspirin or the paracetamol. So, the prostaglandin cannot be synthesized. If the pro prostaglandins are absent, then there will be no pain. So, actually, the prostaglandin causes the pain. And some of the applications uh, this prostaglandin can be, can be synthesized artificially but from a intermediate called cystones. Cystone. Cystone is a chemical which is naturally obtained from gorgonians. Gorgonians is a cylindrate. So this is a cylindrate. And what are the major functions of the prostaglandin? It regulates the hormone action. Regulate the hormone actions. It inhibits the gastric juice. It induces labor. Labor means what? It helps in delivery, parturitions, by influencing uh, or promoting the contraction and relaxation of the uterine wall. It also helps in regulate the BP. It increases or constricts the blood vessels. And it helps in inflammatory responses. What is an inflammatory response? Inflammatory response is a defense mechanism when a foreign particles are enters into the human body. So this is a viscous skin of the human body. It's a skin. It's a muscles. So this is an injury mark. So as the prostaglandins are released, this one. This one, prostaglandins are released. It dilates the blood vessels so that more and more WBC reaches the site of infections. So it causes the swelling, redness, pain, and warm. So these are all done by what? The prostaglandin. The swelling is due to what? More blood are flowing to the site of injury. Redness is, redness is also due to the presence of more RPC. Warmth is what? To accelerate the defense mechanism. Pain is to for the protection. It causes the pain so that we are, because we be more aware of the injury. So that's all from this topic, lipids. Hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you.